Hi, my beloved YouTube viewers. Welcome to my new season, Catch and Cook episode. If you like fishing, cook and eat fish, this is a series for you. I'm going to show you step by step how to clean and how to cook the fish. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to smoke fish. I love smoked fish. If you haven't done this before, this is the video for you. Fish hunting is pretty fun and addictive. Now LG is going to show you how to kill a fish. First, we need to remove the hook from the fish mouth. Make sure you grab the fish firmly. As soon as you remove the hook from the mouth, you have to break the neck of the fish immediately. By doing that, you are actually reducing his suffering time. This is not easy to watch for me. I find killing is terrible. And tonight, we got 28 fishes. I usually keep them in the refrigerator and clean them the next day. And let me show you how to do this. First, I remove the head of the fish. Make sure you have a good fillet knife. This knife is not so good and it needs some sharpening. I prefer to wear rubber glove when cleaning the fish so it is not so fishy smelling. Now you want to firmly pull the head out together with the organs. And then use the knife to split the stomachs. Oh, look what I've got. I've got some eggs in the stomach. If the fish egg is big enough, I probably keep them because fish eggs fried is really delicious. Now, at the back of the fish, you want to gently run the knife to remove the skin of the fish. Do it on both sides. I noticed the skin of this perch fish is very thick, so it's not so difficult to remove the skin. Now, as you can see, this is the backbone and there is a very sharp, firm fin. So you want to remove that too. So I usually like to grab the bone of the fish and then I pull out the fin all in one if possible. And you want to be careful because some of the fin can be pointing sharp. I remove it first so that the chances of being poked by it is lesser. Now, using your finger to feel the space between the skin and the meat. And then you just want to gently pull them to the side and at the end, here, you just pull the whole skin out. Now, 
you do the same to the other side. I believe you can use this same technique to fillet or skin all kinds of fish. I find that this way of skinning it is very safe. Now, the whole skin is out. How easy is that, right? Okay, you need to remove this fin too. So just grab the bone and pull it out. So, here you go the whole fish that has been skinned. This fish is not so big but I'm going to show you a simple way how to fillet it. Of course with a bigger fish it's much easier but I'm going to show you anyway. Use your finger to feel. Sometimes you can feel the small bone in the center of the fish. So I'm going to just use a knife to make a slit on one side of the bone and then cut on the other side too. So as I said, this is not a perfect fillet knife. So you just want to gently cut the meat away from the bone. So you can feel the bone is there. So what you can do is that you cut on the other side of the bone and gently try to remove the remaining part of the flesh. So usually for a small fish like that, I don't like to do this but uh, if you have a bigger fish, it, it's much easier. So just patiently, gently work your knife through until you come to the end near the tail part. Do the same to the other side of the fish. The one thing I notice is the more you do this, the better you become. So it's a matter of practice, isn't it? To be honest, I find that it's quite therapeutic to do this early in the morning when LG is still in bed and I'm doing here all by myself in the kitchen and the cats is not disturbing me when I'm doing this. So it's kind of nice to do this, especially in the morning, to start my day, to do something that I really enjoy. I kept the bigger fish to make curry and I'm going to just smoke the smaller fish. You can use any kind of barbecue peat. For this, it's a cattle barbecue peat, as long as there is holes for the smoke to escape. I have washed the fish with some salt water and lemon juice. Now I'm going to season this with salt and lemon pepper and some cayenne pepper. If you don't have cayenne, you can use chili flakes too. Be generous with the salt because the fish skin is very thick. If the salt is not enough, the fish will not be tasty. The best way is to use a briquette to smoke the fish but I don't have them at home so I'm just using normal charcoal. Charcoal is not that lasting but because my fish is so small I don't need to smoke them for too long. Push the charcoal aside and put some juniper twigs on top. Now the fish are ready to be smoked. Did you realize I didn't put it on top of the grill just at the side to let this smoke under really low temperature. Usually some recipe will call to smoke for at least 12 hours. And because these fish are quite small, I'm going to try and smoke them for at least 3 hours. Juniper tricks are often used when smoking fish and meat. It gives the food a very distinctive flavors. 
and usually when it is autumn you will see these dark color berries and it can be used as a pepper to cook wild food especially nice with wild meat you can use a thermometer to test the temperature of the fish internally for me because these fish are too small I can see with my bare eyes if they are cooked or not. I don't like smoked fish to be too dry, so I think I'll just let this cook for another 30 minutes and then pick it up. Now I could feel the aroma of this smoky fish. It smells heavenly. I just wish that you could smell them through the phone or your device. Or even better, you could come and join me for dinner and look at that how beautiful right I cannot wait to eat them you can eat them either cold or like we do warm so we're gonna have this together with the hot bread what a nice way to end this day with a beautiful dish and this is how we eat this Make sure you check on the bone because they are quite fine and hard to find. Next, you want to put butter on the hard bread and put the fish on. Just like that. Simple and easy. Oh my, the fish was so delicious. We really enjoy it very much. I ate around 4 sandwiches and LG he ate more than me. And for a person who doesn't like fish, he surprised me because most sweet they doesn't like to eat fish with bones do you like to eat fish with bones if you love this you're gonna love my next video I'm going to show you a couple of ways how to eat this perch and this is one way I like to cook is the Nyonya Asam Padas style this is a sour curry dish and with this curry sauce, you can use this for almost any kind of fish. It's so easy to make and it's super delicious. Even for people like LG who doesn't like to eat fish with bone, he was absolutely blown away by this dish. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you're new here, subscribe with the notification bell on so you will not miss my next video. I hope this video gives you an idea how it's like fishing here in Sweden. What about you? How is it like fishing in your country? Let me know in the comment, okay? Meantime, please stay safe and I hope to see you in my next. Bye-bye!